Hello again, you're welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and what? I'm a third year medical student of the University of Abado. So it is no longer news that jam is few days away. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about things you should do to be effective and efficient on your exam day. In my opinion, there are generally three things that determine how well one performs in an exam like jam. The first is how much you know. Second is how effective and efficient you can put what you've known to use on the exam day. And the third is God's grace. So in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the second. So I, I believe you're going to agree with me that it is going to be very discouraging and painful for one to have prepared all those who are prepared maybe for months or for weeks for the exam, all to fumble on the exam day due to some avoidable reasons. That's something that we should definitely avoid. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about things you should do on your exam day and things you should totally totally avoid on your exam day to give this video some kind of structure i'm going to be dividing it into three parts the first part is what you should do when it is like a week to your exam which is almost a week to your exam the second is what you should do a day to your exam and the third is what you should do on your exam day and in the exam hall so let's start with what you should do a week to your exam a week to exam many of you already have a plan that you are working on just stick to your plan you probably have a couple of past questions that you've decided you were going to solve just try to solve those past questions you also probably have a list of topics you decided you are going to learn try to learn these topics fast and as effectively as you can learn it in my previous videos i've talked about how you can learn things very fast in such condition where you do not have much time you could look for friends who know things better they can actually help you learn faster this time even checking out a youtube video that explains this concept very well is going to reduce the time you spend trying to figure out everything about the particular topic you're trying to learn the second thing to do is to shun the negative voice inside your head I know this is about the time when you start feeling doubt even if you've been studying all this while this is the time when you start feeling like scared and doubtful of yourself and I, I think this is normal it actually happened to me too during my time when I was writing this exam I, I had prayed I had been reading then but I was like what if I still feel actually most of you know more than you think you know especially if you've been learning you've been reading all this while you have a lot of information in your head already what you need to learn this time is how to bring out the knowledge you had how to bring out the information you have you've already created a lot of neural pathways but you should learn how you can bring it out especially since you've not reviewed in a long period of time that is why you should be practicing active recall this time it is very important if you are doing anything else from reading maybe you are away from your own or you are doing the shoes just try to recall anything you can recall concerning the exam just as you are trying to bring it out you are strengthening the connection between those information and it becomes easier for you to bring such information out on a later day so try to practice active recall bring out information from your head just keep bringing it out keep bringing it out this is a good time to actually teach someone if you are teaching someone you are bringing out information from your head you are helping yourself and also helping the person you could also write down information that you have in your head and write it down on paper another thing you should also keep doing is practicing of past questions practicing past question is a form of active recall so you are using the information you've gathered in your head you are using it now I, I think this is also one thing you should be doing I feel that doubt is something that cannot be totally avoided but you can reduce it just believe in yourself and trust God for perfection so the third thing to start doing when it is a week before is to start planning how you're going to do on your exam day start planning exactly what you want to do on the exam day how you are going to go about it how you are going to manage your time properly I believe by now you should know the modality of the exam that you are going to be writing but in case you don't know let me just quickly tell you so in jam you are writing four subjects I believe you know that and out of the four you definitely are writing English English has 60 questions then the other three subjects you are going to be writing have 40 questions each so all together you have 180 questions and you are going to be given two hours that is 120 minutes to answer 180 questions so that means if you are going to share the time equally for all the questions you do not have up to one minute 
but there is something about jam not all questions require a lot of time there are questions that in the first 10 seconds you already know the answer and there are others that might take you up to like one to two minutes to answer one thing i want you to know is that you can always keep questions and come back to them later if a particular question is taking too much of your time just skip it for that time and move to the next one you know because if time runs out and you are not almost done there are some questions that are supposed to be like bonus for you you are going to miss this out so make sure that you are smart about how you answer your questions another thing you need to plan ahead is what subject you are solving first i will advise you start with the subject you are best at the one you are most comfortable in solving also know that you can change subject they might start with physics for you you can decide to start with biology by yourself one thing to avoid a week to your exam is avoid falling sick make sure you are eating right and you are resting and if you are having any symptoms of sickness try to get yourself treated as early as possible let's talk about what you should do a day to your exam first thing to do is to know your center by then you should have printed your exam slip make sure you know exactly where your exam exam venue is and also know how long it's going to take you to get to your exam venue another thing is to get all your materials ready have your printout slip already because you are going to be needing it have your pen your pencil for different centers they might ask you to bring different things some are asking not to even bring anything at all because they are going to be providing you with pencil or pen you could just hold those things along with you and if they ask you to drop it you drop it another thing is get your dress ready please do not dress in the center to your exam hall my friend told me his experience and it was very funny to me he wore a ripped jean i mean a crazy jean to his exam center and just when the exam is about to start they sent him as well as some other students a way to go and look for dress by the time he got back to start his exam he had already wasted like half of the time now imagine what such person is going to do despite the fact that he has been preparing all this while so the next thing to do a day before your exam is last minute revision if you like you could just go through your notes again briefly like that day is not a day to try to read the old textbook and cover the old jam syllabus rest the night before your exam please try to sleep don't pull all nighters the night before your exam the third part what you should do on your exam day you go to your center as early as possible it is better to arrive there like one hour 30 minutes earlier and feel bored sitting there than to get late to your center like getting one minute late to your center can destabilize you i've experienced one before let me tell you the story followed my course to his center i was writing post year me in ui that year so i was waiting with some print when i noticed one girl she was like 10 minutes late for the exam so she came to meet us like where is the venue as they were trying to describe the venue for her appropriately she just started running towards the wrong direction they were trying to call her back but she would not listen she thought that was the right direction she didn't get the place she had to come back again then they now calmed her down and pointed the right direction she was totally destabilized besides the fact that she has lost so much time i'm very sure that for the first five to ten minutes she cannot do anything reasonable in the exam or please avoid going late to your exam try to get there as early as possible the next is to follow instructions please don't get yourself in trouble different centers have different rules make sure you are following their rules if they tell you do not touch the computer yet don't touch it so nobody is going to yell at you or harass you and make you feel destabilized when you start your exam the first few minutes to your, into your exam you might be very very scared please try to manage your fear during this period of time don't let fear cripple you and don't let fear make you do something unreasonable i've heard the story of a girl i was told that when she started her exam she mistakenly pressed submit and as she pressed submit you know it was going to ask that are you sure you want to submit but because she was scared oh, oh i'm submitting i'm submitting instead of coming down to press the right key she just pressed enter enter the twice and that's how she submitted her exam when she has not started this is just another exam i'm sure this is not the first exam you are writing you're going to be fine really just do your best and trust god to crown your efforts with success i wish you the best of luck guys like i i wish you the very very best I want to hear good news from you and I hope this jam is what will get you into the school of your choice.